how you doing? Today I want to share a practical, simple tip on life insurance for those of you who carry a life insurance policy, whether that be whole life term, IUL, VUL, whatever L type of policy. Um, I want you to be aware of some things in the event, God forbid, you, while you're living, are determined to be terminally ill or you have some sort of disease and you only have a certain time to live, okay? So we're going to talk about something called a viatical settlement company and to be aware of these things, okay? So when I was um, doing my continuing education hours to retain and hold my insurance license as an insurance agent in the state of Florida, uh, one of the sections was talking about viatical settlement companies, which is these guys will come in and make you a deal, right, as the uh, policy holder, okay? So you, let's say you have a policy, so that makes you the policy holder, and you're the insured, okay? That means you're the policy owner, and you're the insured, meaning should you die, boom, a death benefit gets paid out to your family. Well, what this company does is they make you an offer, well, let's say you're gonna die, okay? You're, you know, you've got cancer, whatever type of disease, something's killing you, and you have X amount of time to live. They'll come in and say, hey, uh, we'll take over this whole policy, so it's called an assignment, right? So you're gonna assign the whole beneficiary, policy, everything, control over to them, and they pay you, I think, 60% up front, right? They'll cut you a check, 60% of your death benefit. They'll give it right there to you. So you can take care of all your expenses and needs and medical bills and yada yada. Sound good? Does it sound good? Well, some people might think that sounds great. And they say, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, 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 boom. Well, as a consumer, as a person, as a human being, it's always good to analyze the other side. Why does this company want to do that? What do they get out of it? Okay, they get the other 40%, my friend, okay, of that death benefit goes to them, not your family, okay? So you don't want to get confused on this. For those of you who have policies in place and maybe you are not in communication with your agent okay this person right here needs to be your go-to person when you have an issue of something like this because they that agent can educate you on the alternative which is called an accelerated uh, rider benefit terminal illness rider these are two riders that appear on life insurance policies, not all of them. But if you get a properly designed policy, these, one of the two or both, these should be in there as a writer. And what this does is you, with this writer, one of these writers, you can go back to the insurance company from which you got the policy from, right? So you go to the insurance company and that's when you, you know, put a claim in, right? And hopefully you're still in communication with your agent. They can help you with that. So you put a claim and you let the insurance company know, hey, uh, my time on this earth is very limited. I've been diagnosed with X, da da da. You show all the paperwork and do whatever it takes, right? Whatever you need to provide as a policyholder. And you can get way more than the 60% upfront. Right, I believe it's in the neighborhood of 75%, right, to take care of medical bills and, and final expenses and things like that. But here's the even better part, is you don't have to sacrifice this, the other 25% uh, or whatever percent is left over, that can go to your family. Because that was the original intent, most likely, of that policy, right, is there's a, you know, there's a beneficiary and you want to make sure that that person in your family receives that death benefit when you do pass away, right? And with these two riders, 
it allows you to get access to majority of that death benefit up front, you know, to take care of you. Because if you get diagnosed with something very serious that's, you know, terminal, I can only imagine how expensive those medical bills are going to be. And I can only imagine how little your current health insurance plan or provider will cover. So here is an alternative. So long story short, don't go with a viatical settlement company. Make sure you have an accelerated uh, rider benefit or terminal illness rider, you know, on your policy. With IBC, I forget, it leaves my mind, but I do believe one or both are always um, included on our designs when we're doing the infinite banking concept and there's no fee. I have to check myself on that. I believe there is no fee for that. It, it's like an, it's an inclusion. It's already included. It's what the insurance company already has in place to basically you know, combat that, those companies, those viatical settlement companies, things like that. So quick video, quick tip. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek. Hope you have a wonderful day and God bless. <music>